Dr. George Gonzalez. I'm the founder of Quantum Neurology, and I'm here with a very, very close friend of mine, Dr. Edward Chauvin. We're here in Louisiana, where the alligators, where the alligators live, <laughs> and, and we eat the alligators. I'm not scared of them. No, no, you're not. You're eating them. They're scared of you. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> so, you know, we've had a tremendous weekend here with Dr. Chauvin and our friends, that, uh, fellow quantum neurologists that have come in, and, and we get together and brainstorm. Uh, different patient ideas and different things and you know it's just such a pleasure to be out here with you Edward. Well George it's always a pleasure to have you here and I really enjoyed it. I wish you didn't have to go so soon. Oh well thank you very much. We'll be back again. Good. Anytime. The uh, you know we've seen some tremendous cases and you know we saw Roger Sims and, and little Amy and uh, you know so please look out for those videos. The tremendous uh, work that you're doing there. And would you mind talking about, you know, if we talk about your patient population, you have, uh, of course, we're in the south in Louisiana, but you, you have, have attracted a lot of brain injury, spinal cord injury patients, uh, and we've had tremendous result with, you know, severe nervous system damage. And uh, part of, the, I feel that part of the reason you have that success is because you personally have survived, uh, you know, brain aneurysm, a severe brain aneurysm. And, you know, why don't we just start with that? Let's, you know, let's talk about uh, your experience uh, with, with nervous, nervous system and damage and aneurysm and stuff like that. Well, in April the 1st of 2007, I ruptured a class 4 aneurysm. And, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I was lifting weights at the time and I lifted real heavy and when I got finished I had a headache but it wasn't a terrible headache and I felt nauseated and my daughter Jasmine who works out with me at Red Burrell's was there with me and I said you know I'm feeling kind of funny I'm gonna have to lay down on this bench until I start feeling better and then after I feel better then we'll go home and so I did that and I felt a little bit better so I got up and went out to get her and we left to go home. Well, I didn't know that I had ruptured an aneurysm. And when I got to Maurice, which is about 12 miles from here, I stopped at a stoplight and I'll never forget, Jasmine said, Dad, you're sleeping. And I said, no, baby, Daddy's just tired. He's resting his eyes. And I took off from that light. And that's the last thing I remember until I woke up in the hospital. And when I woke up after the aneurysm surgery and Dr. Julian Bales did the aneurysm surgery on him and he was my college roommate at LSU and he's a world renowned neurosurgeon but when I woke up from that surgery Dr. George Gonzalez was sitting on my bed That's right. and Lord you know I, George I just can't say enough about that because I was paralyzed on the left side of my body my face was all distorted and uh, you left, barely talk. I could barely talk, left side of my body, but I'll never forget what happened because I saw Jesus Christ face to face, as close as I am for me. And he looked at me, but he was not looking at me like you would look at me. I felt that he was looking inside of me, like he could see everything inside of me. And he said this, I have bigger and better things planned for you. And then I woke up. I was like, this first time I remember being awake in the hospital. And George was sitting on my bed, Dr. George Gonzalez, my good friend. And I said, George, what are you doing here? And he said, Ed, you ruptured an aneurysm in your head. And I heard about it. I came from California to see if I could be of any assistance. He said, but God's got bigger and better things planned for you. And I said, say that again, George. He did. And, <laughs> and he said, I came from California. I said, no, George. He has bigger and better things planned for me. Well, you know, you were confirming what Jesus had just told me mm -hmm. in my vision or dream or whatever you want to call it. Because mm -hmm. I don't know what you call that. I just know that that was a real experience for me. Right. And I don't believe that that was just for me. I believe that that was for you, George, and quantum neurology and for all the people that are going to be learning this nerve rehabilitation technique now and in the future 
because we can say, you know, we started with George's wife, and that's how George discovered quantum neurology. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I wrote an aneurysm in my head and made 100% recovery. I forgot to tell you that I went back to work 29 days later. That's right. He walked out of the hospital with zero neurological deficits after being paralyzed on half of his body, half of his face, not being able to talk. And, uh, you know, after the, you know, when, when I first found out about it, uh, doctors, uh, Dr. Chauvin's office staff called us, or called me and, and said Dr. Uh, Dr. Chauvin had ruptured an aneurysm and uh, they're basically closing the office down. They don't expect him to recover. And, uh, yeah, they didn't know if I was going to live. <laughs> yeah, they, they just basically shut down the office. And, you know, I, I flew out as soon as I can. It was about four days after the surgery. And, you know, I was talking to Ben, his uh, Edward's son, and he's telling me, you know, well, they, they had no idea how to sell a practice or, you know, uh, what issues were involved. So he's asking me questions on, well, you know, what, how do you sell a practice? How do you price those kind of things? And what do you... How do you do it? You know, they don't know anything about that. And so they had already fired the staff. They were already looking at, well, how are we going to be able to provide Edward the care that he needs? Because they, they expected him to have around-the-clock care for a year and a half. At what, least. That's yeah, what the doctors least. told my whole family, that I would need around-the-clock care for a year and a half before I ever even considered thinking about going back to work. Yeah. And praise God, <laughs> I went back to work 29 days later, <laughs> and I've been practicing full-time ever since. And, you know, what is today? Uh, well, it's 2000. March, March yeah. 3rd of 2013. So next month will be your anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Next year, you know, I mean, yeah. next month will be six years. It's six years. So Incredible. I'm very, very blessed. I just wanted to share this with you guys to tell you that God is real. He uses quantum neurology to rehabilitate the nervous system and it is the most wonderful thing that I can even speak about. Um, we just discovered something today that it is. is absolutely amazing. Exactly. Tell them about it, John. The, the <laughs> bank fund, the eye, the eye thing? Oh my lord. We, we have some of the smartest doctors in this technique. <laughs> Dr. James Sheen came to my house from Nebraska and we're so blessed to have him and Dr. Woody Beck and Dr. George Gonzalez and Dr. Chris Cormier and they're all at my house right now and we're just having a good time we're talking about how we can help people get better faster. That's right. And better. And so, you know, of course we focus on our own issues and, yeah, you know, exactly. I, I'm dealing with some vision issues and so as many other people are, uh, a combination of, of thought ideas for we're driving around, but mostly Dr. James Sheen and Dr. Edward here, they developed a protocol or, or the beginning stages of a protocol for uh, improving visual acuity, which is something that's been very elusive uh, to our community for, you know, since the inception of quantum neurology. And uh, I'm, I'm excited. You know, my vision has improved uh, tremendously just, just from a five-minute session we just did yeah. today. And I know we're going to find little aspects of it that will improve it, and you know, but George, I'm, I'm very excited about that. George, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but, you know, with people that can't see far or can't see near, they have a surgical procedure that they do for that, called right. radiokeratotomy, yeah. and they can actually change the shape of the lens so that people don't have to wear glasses, they can do it without glasses, and I think that's a wonderful thing, I think it's a great breakthrough. However, would you like to do the same thing without having the surgery? I would. <laughs> and I would too. I've, I've chosen not to go through those surgery procedures because I just had faith that we would be able to find something to to help the eye do what it's supposed to do naturally. George, God really does have bigger and better things planned for us. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and we did it today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was a while. It was, it was a, while. a while. After after you made fried chicken, <laughs> we, we, we were fixing our eyes up. I, I kind of have this recipe for fried chicken that's it's good kind stuff. Of good. It's kind of good. <laughs> you know. They ate everything but the pan. Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah, we licked it though. <laughs> it, it, food's good out here in Louisiana, I'll tell you. The, uh, you know, it's, it's I, I feel that, you know, you had such a tremendous healing experience for yourself and, uh, of course, the, 
the surgery from Dr. Julian Bales was was amazing to to survive that that kind of a surgery, and then we were able to to rehabilitate your nervous system so quickly. One of the things I trained my doctors in is, you know, we, we're not going to jump into uh, a place where somebody has strokes and just start taking them out of it very quickly. You have to understand, Dr. Chauvin had already had quantum neurology care for several years before he had his aneurysm. So he had what, what we describe as the holographic communication already in place. And so when we went back in after his surgery, we were just simply reestablishing that holographic, that non-physical communication of the body. And Dr. Julian Bales, uh, you know, very close friend of Dr. Chauvin's, they went to college together. And he, he was, uh, I'll, I'll let you tell it because he's your friend, but he was very shocked at your recovery ability. Yeah, I mean, when I talked to Jerry and he said, how soon did you go back to work? And I said, 29 days later. He said, get out of here. <laughs> Nobody does that, shell <laughs> man. <laughs> he knows he says it all the time. Get out of here. <laughs> he, he is the greatest guy. He's a very smart guy. And, you know, I just like, am thankful that God used him. He used Dr. George Gonzalez. And he used other people to bring me to this point. But I'm convinced that it was not just for me, but for me, my family, for the rest of the world. So I, I'm just so glad to be part of this, George. Thank you so much. Hey, I love right. it, man. We're having fun. And, We're having and fun. you know, the very year that I had this aneurysm surgery, went back to work, that very year I became a quantum neurologist. And that means I passed all the courses that George took, and I did uh, case studies that we had to submit into quantum neurology and I'm so blessed because I was the seventh quantum neurologist in the whole world and seven is God's perfect number you know God said I mean Jesus said to me I have bigger and better things planned for you and you know it's just amazing that seven was the number of and how many quantum neurologists are there around the world right now? Right now, I believe that there's between 60 and 70. I haven't counted well, most recently. You know what? I really believe if we keep doing what we're doing, because we see miracles every all the day. time, almost all every day. day. If we keep doing what we're doing, eventually when God opens us up, there'll be 67,000 doctors practicing there's no quantum doubt. neurology. Right? And that's just the beginning. <laughs> it truly is. You know, I, I feel that, you know, we have a higher understanding of the nervous system, a more profound understanding of the nervous system. We use the body's natural actions and reactions to achieve a desired result. You know, and, and 